thousands of years, the Shadow Men have protected the world of the living against threats crossing over from the spiritual plane known as Deadside, the place where everyone goes without exception when they die. Michael Lois is the current heir to the mysteries of this ancient lineage, bearer of the Mask of Shadows. When darkness falls, he becomes the walker between the worlds, immortal voodoo warrior, taker of souls, lord of Deadside, the Shadow Man. November 1888. By my deeds am I known, and I am known as Jack. spring Jack. Jack the Ripper. By my deeds am I known, and they are truly bloody. I took them all to my heart. Mary Ann Nichols, Annie Chapman, Elizabeth Stride, Catherine Eddowes, Mary Kelly, and loved them, truly loved them all. But the immortal power I sought within the sordid confines of their bodies, the still beating organ of the soul, was not to be found. The ritual of the knife was to no avail. I am bereft, and must therefore perform that bloody ritual upon myself. Stay your hand, Jack, and listen to what I have to say. How did you find this place? Who are you? My name is Legion, for we are many. The immortal power that you seek does exist. It does indeed lie within the soul but only within certain ones, certain dark souls. My God! What are you that you can produce such things from thin air? Merely an explorer, much like yourself. What is it that you want from me? You are an architect by trade, are you not? I am. Then I would have you build a cathedral to pain, a place where you and I and others like us may join together. A place of asylum for all of the unique and misunderstood individuals that will follow you as the time of Armageddon approaches. And at the heart of asylum, we shall construct a great dark engine powered by souls of equal hue. And we shall harness their power to create an immortal army to punish and cleanse this pathetic world. And where might I build this cathedral of yours? Across the veil. In the darkness, amongst the restless spirits of those who have passed beyond, in the place known as Deadside. Then, if I am to join you, I must die. It is prophecy. We cannot fail, for we are many. For we are many! Amen to that. Come to mama, baby. Hey there, space hey there. cadet. You can. Yeah, beautiful. For we are many, are many, are many, are many, are many. There's a darkness coming. What's the problem, Magneta? I had a dream, Shadow Man. A real bad dream. A dead side dream. The five are here. The heralds of the apocalypse. Deacon's file confirms everything I feared. The end's common, Shadow Man. An ancient prophecy tells of the return of a great evil to dead side. A terrible force gathering dark souls to its darker heart and using their power to cross over into this world and bring about apocalypse. I must stop this evil from bringing about the end of all things. Only you can do it, Shadow Man. You are the walker between the worlds. I can't go dead side, and Jaunty's next to useless in both worlds. You are the only one who can do anything about this. As it ever was. But you ain't never confronted anything like this evil. It's so pure, not even the ancient protectors of the Dark Souls could destroy it. They could only banish it from dead side. They knew it'd come back one day. Hence the prophecy telling of its return. The power of the ancients is all but gone now. 
and the dark souls that evil desires lie unprotected. What you gotta do, Shadow Man, is to go dead side and recover the dark souls. Take them into your own protection before evil gathers them to its terrible heart. Okay, so let me get this straight. If I don't recover these dark souls, then the world's gonna end. Am I right? You got it. Shit. Look, I gotta go. I've got a lot to do. Take Deacon's file and meet me at dawn at the church on the hill. I've kept your stuff safe for you. I hate this shit. Just a pawn in Nettie's master plan. She moves me in mysterious ways, and brother, sometimes she really does move me. Can't do nothing about it since, nice as you please, she knitted my ribs into the mask of shadows. I got nothing left anyways. It's my fault Luke's dead, and mom and pop too. I deserve everything I get, every bad thing that comes my way. Can't live, can't die. Dead side's the perfect good for me. A nowhere place. The asshole of the universe. <laughs> now where the hell is that church?
Betty? Hey there, Mike. Glad you could make it. How could I refuse your offer? How could I ever refuse you, Agnetta? You can't. I'm simply irresistible. I hope you read the file I gave you, and read it real well. Between the lines, you'll find the signs. You got my stuff? Come on in, honey. You know, on the way over here, I got to thinking about these dark souls. If they're so damn dangerous, why didn't the ancients just destroy them? Because that's impossible. Their power is their immortality. If evil ever manages to implant these immortal souls into its monstrous slaves, can you imagine the carnage an immortal, unbeatable army will bring to the Earth? That's Apocalypse, Shadow Man. That's the end. Okay, okay, so I really gotta get to the Dark Souls before the bad guy. I understand that, but where do I find them? In Govi. Each Govi has been sealed by the most powerful voodoo. Not even the greatest Bokor or Mambo can open them to release the Dark Soul within. Believe me, I've tried. But a Shadow Man, or something even more powerful, just might be able to do it. Release the Dark Soul and take it into yourself. But be warned, the Dark Souls are a pure and ancient evil and possess a power that should not be abused. Okay, okay. Let's just get this thing over with. You got my stuff? Right here. A real fear, Mikey! Jesus, Luke! He's alive! Alive and in pain! I gotta help him! He's dead, Mike. You know that! I know, but I saw! It's understandable that you still have strong feelings for your brother. That's why the bear works for you. Connecting you to dead side. Use it now, Mike. Go dead side and find Jonty. He's waiting for you at the Merrow Gates. He's got something to show you. Okay. And Mike? Yeah? If you need me, I'll be here. Now, go see Jonty and get them dark souls. I am the Lord of Deadside, shadow born at the confluence of worlds to walk between. Lifeside is without the meaning that my partly living possesses here in Deadside, where the darkness is manifest at the edges of reason. As a god, I step forth upon the writhing, separating surface of the Deadside Serpent. What sleep is here? What dreams there are in the unctuous coilings of the snake's mortal shuffling. Weapon in my hand, my hand, the arcing death blow at the end of all things. The horror, the horror, I embrace it. <laughs>
Hello there, Michael. How's that treating you? Jody, kindly refer to me as Shadow Man. Michael Lawai has no place here in Deadside. Whatever, Mick. It's good to see you again. Seems like simply ages since I last set my eyes on your happy, smiling mug. The feeling's mutual. I suppose you've been away dallying with the old battle axe, giving her one with some of that righteous voodoo so she can stay forever young? Something like that. She's been filling your head with her fated pillow talk again, I'll bet. Doomsday in an army giddy until you're drunk with the stuff. She did happen to mention a certain prophetic dream she's been having. Did she now? Well, for once I think the owl witch might be right. See that bloody big black tower yonder? How could I miss it? Well, old Bruegel, the medieval painter blokey, was just telling me the other day that he thought it looked remarkably like a picture he once did. Is that Peter Bruegel? No, Seamus, his distant Irish cousin. Anyways, he was quite shocked, so he was, at the terrible mess that bloody thing's making. Appeared now that nowhere and tearing its way through the place like there's no tomorrow. Which, given what Nettie's saying, might not be too far from the truth. Any idea what's going on in there? Nope, and I shan't be knocking on the front door to find out, neither. All I'd say is, if there's something wicked heading this way, it'll be coming from in there. Nettie mentioned the Dark Souls. Can you tell me any more about them? I'm afraid I'll have to reply in the negative again, Michael. Suffice it to say, Nettie's told me that they're bloody powerful, well nigh indestructible, and shouldn't fall into the wrong hands. Any idea where they might be? What am I, a Dark Soul travel guide now? I suppose you could try all of the ancient sacred places down amongst the whalers and shiverers. I just hope that none of them souls have ended up in that filthy big black tower. From what Nettie was saying, some of them already have, which is all the more reason for me to be pushing on. Open the gates, Johnny. Places to go, people to see, eh, Michael? Just open the gates, Johnny. Did I ever tell you about the time me and Attila the Hun were playing skittles with the guillotine heads of the French aristocracy? Johnny. All right, all right, keep your bloody hair on. Which, looking at your shining bonds, may prove to be rather difficult. Open sesame! And if you be wanting to pop by and chat a while, I'll still be here. It's just a shame we can't share a drop of the hard stuff together by a rod and peat fire. I don't drink. With snakes.
Dark Souls. I embrace it. Unsalvaged souls that drift beyond the narrow gates for an eternity of waiting. This infinite limbo, this wasteland, this untamed, unnatural afterbirth I command with my endless darkness. What ineffable secrets are whispered within the paths of shadow? What red edge realities rising bleak above the blasted skyline? Deadwing, Duppy, Zombie Mother. This voodoo lord outlasts them all.
100 Caddo, given in offering to the lower, shall greatly increase the strength of a man's spirit.
into asylum like a great black engine roaring to eternity ravaging the already benighted landscape with its savage malevolent presence and within the legions of the truly damned insanity sheer and stark and once in human form now gutted and torn by eons of glutted indulgence their bloodlust flecking the oily walls, living in the shrieks of victims ensnared, hanged, drawn, and quartered by the serpent's squalid writhings. This is the place I have not wanted to dream of, and the dream is now the place I partly lived through.
Souls, I embrace it.
souls are mine.
I followed the Dark Souls trail into the asylum, but where the hell are the five? They're in this world, Shadow Man. Five mortal men touched by the power of the Dark Souls. Unlike you, they don't have the mask of shadows controlling and channeling the dark power. It twists their minds, fills their already tainted hearts with even greater perversions, and a hatred so terrible it has sent them insane. Okay, so they're in this world, but where exactly? That's your job, Shadow Man. You gotta go back to the asylum and find a way through, the same way the Dark Souls found their way into the Five. Hunt the mothers down, Shadow Man, and kick their sorry asses. But remember, they possess an immortal power, and only by taking their souls will you truly defeat them. Long time now, say, Michael. I have found and taken a dark soul. Nettie was right about them. Never have I experienced such hatred and corruption. The dark fire burns within me with such ferocity that I am afraid it may consume me. And yet, these glowering flames are as a joy to me. My ability to channel my shadow powers has increased, and I feel so much more. Dangerous? All I ask is that you be careful, Mike. The power of the Dark Souls is very great and very, very evil, which is why you need to get them before anyone else. Then I have no time to waste.
inside. Spoken of in whispers at the dead side margins, in the hushed and shivering tones of the lurking, lurching revenants, these ancient places, blood temples to the lower, where the dark souls did find their secret corner, hidden by the sanguinary sisters steeped in voodoo lore.
Sisters awake.
is awake. souls are mine. Sisters awake.
awake. <coughs> I have passed the first trial. The sisters awake. Yeah. <laughs> 
The sister's awake. Sisters awake.
souls are mine. souls are mine.
Dark Souls. I embrace it.
I have found and taken a dark soul. Nettie was right about them. Never have I experienced such hatred and corruption. The dark fire burns within me with... Thank <laughs> you. 
Dark Souls are mine.
Dark Souls are mine. I embrace it.
souls are mine.
souls are mine.
am the Lord of Deadside. side. And deeper still, the morbid mystery entwines. What love I ever had for life should find its place in here. Locked within a cankered cell, beset by madmen, chained to hell. And deeper still, a vast, dark love I find within asylum's darkly thrumming heart. No love of mine, not mine to love. For twisted is the purity of that finer thing, and I should lay my partly living down 
to free the world from terror's tyranny.
These gifts I give to thee, O gracious Loa, O generous Loa, a spiritual trade for life beyond.
souls are mine. souls are mine.
souls are mine.
Luke? Is that you, bro? This way, Mikey. Luke! It's okay, Luke. I'm here now. Stay there. I'm coming to get you. I'm real scared, Mikey. You gotta help me. Please? Luke, come back. Luke!
souls are mine. Further horrors shall I find within this terrible place. During a time before these catastrophic events, I would have willingly accepted pallid imitations of such horrors. I now have come so far, my sensibilities lie benumbed by all I see. I do not embrace this horror, but rather stand immobile beneath its self-indulgent gaze. Confusion reigns, and I fear the god within the machine is no longer there.
The Dark Souls are mine. Souls are mine. souls are mine. <laughs> the dark souls are mine.
souls are mine.
souls are mine.
the Lord of Deadside. Praise of the Gad, tattooed trinity, drumming ineffable power burning through the flesh. My ebon body wrought with arcane designs, drawn by the dead side's dragon breath, and entreated by the talons of the terrible mother. Dread beauty brings them unto me, palms to flame, souls to fire, black blood song coursing through the dragon's searing veins. Nettie, Luke's in the asylum. He was calling out to me. Nettie, he needs me to help him. Hold on there, Mike. You can't be sure of anything you see or hear in that place. Try and stay focused on what you gotta do. But he's my kid brother, Nettie. Luke's dead. Try and get that through your stupid numbskull head. The evil's using you. Can't you see that? Trying to weaken your resolve. Just get the Dark Souls and stop screwing around. Ooh, that told me. Get the hell out of here, Mike. We ain't got much time. What's up, Michael? You look like you've seen a ghost. Which I suppose is understandable, considering where we are. Luke was in the asylum, Jaunty. 
He was calling out for me. I don't know, but maybe I was just imagining it. You know, as the bird said, there are more things in heaven and dead side than are dreamt of in your philosophy. Shakespeare said that? Well, not exactly, but near enough. I need to find out whether Luke's in there, and why. You do that, Michael. I wish I could help. Honest, I do. But, well, you know how it is.
Those are mine. Sisters awake. The sisters awake. Sisters awake. Sisters awake.
Sisters awake. Sisters awake.
souls are mine.
Lord of Dead Side. feel as though my powers are almost at their peak. The souls within me burn with a dreadful fire that threatens to consume me. I must exercise the utmost care from here on in, or find myself succumbing to Asylum's dark allure.
the Dark Souls are mine. Souls are mine. Come on, I found out how to five reach this world, but when I cross over from the asylum, it's always daytime life side. And I'm gonna need my powers as Shadow Man to truly kick their asses. Maybe I should just hang back and wait for nightfall, which ain't easy cause the five are after my blood. No use hanging back, Mike. The prophecy's upon us, and with every hour we're drawing closer to its terrible conclusion. Well, if I can't use my shadow powers on the five, we're screwed. Not yet. Your esteemed predecessor, Maxime St. James, once spoke to me of Leclipsar, the bringer of night. An ancient blade said to release the shadow into the world of men. You already have this blade. Give it to me. Lay down, Mike. I thought you'd never ask. Is, uh, this gonna hurt much? <laughs> yes. I thought so. Try and be gentle with me. Bringer of night, Lake Lipsar, release the shadow into the world of men. Le soleil, brother son, la lune, sister moon, la lamb, the power that binds. <sighs> and the sorceress fell into a deep trance, her powers exhausted, and a shadow did fall upon the world of men. Is upheld. Agneta! It is done. Seek out the five. Destroy them and the evil that controls them. I must sleep. Must sleep. The Dark Souls are mine. <laughs> the Dark Souls are mine. Dark souls are mine.
Dark Souls are mine. Dark souls are mine. Oh. <laughs> 
souls are mine.
Dark Souls are mine.
Dreams are mine. souls are mine.
sister's awake. souls are mine.
souls are mine. souls are mine. souls are mine.
Stop with the dilly-dallying, Michael, and get yourself over here. What can I do for you, Michael? I have entered the asylum, a truly terrible place. Far more dreadful than even the most twisted mind could have imagined. I suspected as much. Nettie has informed me that I must find a way to reach the five from within the asylum. It would seem that the serial killers Thomas Deacon profiled for us are, indeed, preparing for the crossing over of the Dark Soul armies. I know that you and I may pass freely between the worlds of Dead Side and Live Side, but what of the five? How is it that they have been able to journey across the Vale from the Asylum to their life-side layers? Uh, well, there was that little incident with Tommy Lee's undead gang a while back. Seemed like an aberration at the time, but thinking about it, could have been a trial run. You know, this may sound crazy, but I think you should be looking for a corpse, or five of them. Five corpses? The way I see it, you trap two souls and keep them in a state of flux between the worlds. One in dead side, the other live side. Neither can cross over from one plane of existence to the next, nor pass beyond. Ergo, a schism! A bridge is formed between the worlds. So, yes, you're looking for five ritually slaughtered corpses somewhere in the asylum. Johnny, there are a great many corpses in the asylum. Granted, but these will be special in some way, in a special place. Of course, if you do manage to find your way across to these psycho loonies, you better have your shadow powers at the ready. I got a feeling you're gonna need them.
be something around here.
this. There sure is some crazy shit going down here. the hell? Hey, Yank. Hey, soul brother. It's good to see you. Come a long way for the party, but hell, it's gonna be worth it. I'll see to that. I haven't come for a party, mister. Can't back out now. Clock's ticking and your number's coming up. And it's a Mark 5 verse 9 and Echo Fox Trot, shall we? Bam! You crazy son of a bitch. You got your damn party, all right. It's an end of the world sock hop, the apocalypse prom, and Marco's yard. You're on the guest list, Mikey, and little Lukey's coming too. He's got the best seat in the house with a split lip neath that big old engine. And he's screaming for his mommy, but mommy's gone down dead sideway. She can't help him, and neither can you. Damn you. Yeah! All right! That's the spirit, Mikey! Let's rock and roll! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Nein.
Hey, you! This is private property. What the hell you think you're doing, boy? I ain't your boy. <laughs> Don't you get uppity with me. You trespassing on my property, I can call you anything I choose, boy. I didn't see no signs, fatso. That's cause you didn't arrive by the front door, did you? I don't need an invitation, fat man. I've been sent here by a higher power. I'm the only power around these parts, boy. You gonna find that out soon enough. You gonna find out what survival is all about. Just like a rerun of the NAM. It's Judgment Day for you and all your kind. This is the end, beautiful friend, for we are many. Jesus, I don't need this bullshit. Dark souls are mine. Something down here. What the- ah! <laughs> what the- 
the ah! There must be something around here.
Open this. around here. Good afternoon. May I help you? What I meant to say was, is there something I can do for you? Yeah, there's something you can do for me. And what is that, pray tell? You can get the hell out of my way. Ah, I'm afraid that won't be possible. Hey, anything's possible, Doc. You, above all, people should know that. I'm sorry, did I call you people? My mistake. You aren't a person at all, are you? Are you? Don't tell me you're expecting some kind of answer to your rhetorical question. Oh yeah, I know all about you, Doc. You think you're so smart. Look at you. So smug in your self-belief, the hero at the heart of your own pathetic power fantasy. But really, you're a little baby girl, aren't you? Deep inside, shivering inside, pissing your frilly little panties. Oh, come now. A squealing, puking, hairless puppy inside. Now you're mixing metaphors. So move out of my way, puppy dog. I won't ask you again. I will not move out of your way. I will not. Do you know who I am? Do you? <laughs> You're a little puppy dog. Don't call me that! I am Dr. Death! I am the Lizard King! Can't you see what I've accomplished here? I have brought his kingdom to Earth! I am the leader of the Five! You should fear me! Fear me! I pity you. <laughs> That wasn't very nice now, was it? For I shall sit at the right hand of the Lord. Did you know that? For we are many. Were you aware of that? You ant, you piece of excrement. You nothing. 
Ring. Und now, Apocalypse. The end of all things. Your voodoo harlot was correct, Michael dear. The end is nigh. And it's sooner than you think. Dark souls are mine.
Dark Souls are mine. The Dark Souls are mine.
the last of the ancient places lies beyond. These trials of Gad to prove the taker of the souls is me, the shadow man of prophecy, tested, tried, and placed upon the altar of this damned destiny. For there can only be the one in a long and lusting line of warrior gods. Tis I, the proof is plain upon my back, my arms, and in my eyes. I am the one, the shadow man of prophecy.
sisters awake.
souls are mine. souls are mine. souls are mine.
souls are mine. souls are mine.
Dark Souls. I embrace it.
pretty damn dark in here.
There's got to be a way out of here.
There's got to be a way out of here. Thank the Lord. Not at all good.
You shouldn't have come here, Michael Lewis. My coming here was unavoidable. It is prophecy. My destiny. Your destiny is to die. That is the fate of all mortal men. But I am no longer mortal. I cannot die. Ha! Dying is easy. I have achieved that end more than once in my existence. And now I have returned as a bloody messiah. An avatar resurrected. A divine servant for my master's great plan. If dying is easy, then you won't mind if I blow you away, you pathetic little man. You may try to achieve that end, Michael Loire, but I warn you, you shall not find it a simple task at all. For we are many. This is the ritual of the night. I'll make an airy Kelly at you.
souls are mine.
souls are mine.
Do not walk softly into the jaws of the dragon. Do not accept the loathsome embrace of the beast at the heart of the horror. But instead, discover that fearsome face, teeth bared, eyes smart with ice-cold hate, sinews braced for the fall. And yet, I feel the beast does not await me at the maze's dark core. I am on the edge of knowing, and yet I am afraid that the knowledge will cause me to walk a willing sacrifice into the jaws of the dragon. Ugh! <sighs> 
Pretty damn dark in here. This way, Mikey. Here's Johnny. What the? I bid you welcome. Enter freely and of your own will. Don't mess with me, little man. Little big man. Little big man. <laughs> Didn't your mama never tell you? It don't matter how big. My mama loves me. She never loved you. My mama kisses me. My mama would never, never, ever kiss you! No!
sweet Jesus. No! Ah! <laughs> 
something around here. Uh -huh. And the good Lord said, let there be light.
God, no! There's gotta be some way to get out of here. Dark souls are mine.
I'm coming to get you. Jesus, Luke, no! There you are. What you doing running away like that? Luke, speak to me, kid. Hiya, Mikey. Glad you could make it. I've been waiting for you. I've been scared. Scared they were going to catch me. That you weren't going to come get me. Here, Luke. You should have known I'd always be there for you, bro. There were bad things in the dark. Better than the boogeyman. They did stuff to me. Stuff I don't want to think about. Oh, God. I'm sorry, Luke. Hey, you want to hear a joke, Mikey? Sure. Once upon a time, there was a murderer and his victim walking hand in hand towards some deep, dark woods. The victim squeezes the murderer's hand real tight. He says, looking up pleadingly with big brown eyes, I'm real scared, mister, of the deep, dark woods. Luke, what the hell? He sighs and he says, you're scared. How the hell do you think I feel? I'm gonna be walking back through them on my own. Pretty funny, hey, Mikey. Pretty goddamn amusing, don't you think? You ain't Luke. You ain't my brother. Congratulations. You win the booby prize. It was never your brother. Just a little insurance to get you here. Really, Michael, you must learn to let the dead rest in peace. Who are you? And he asked him, what is thy name? And he replied, My name is Legion, for we are many. And you, Shadow Man, are Legion also. The souls of the many fill your vitals to bursting. To hell with this obscure shit. I don't need it. All I need to know is that I'm going to take you down. You really don't get it, do you? You're even more of a posturing fool than I first believed. When I came up with my grand and incredibly brilliant plan, which you will know as the prophecy, all those years ago. What? You created the prophecy? Of course I did, you pillock. Surely you didn't believe all that bollocks about the old gods imparting the knowledge to the ancients. The only god back then was me. It was I who spoke to the ancients in their dreams and planted the seed for my triumphant return. Of course, all those years ago, I couldn't have hoped for a more willing puppet. Luckily, the puppet is you, Michael Lavoie. And of course, now that you have so kindly presented poor Luki with his teddy bear, it is impossible for you to leave. You bastard! Thank you. I suppose you've read the Le Cat, for it is written, and Legion took the power of the Dark Souls unto him. I knew that the Dark Souls would be difficult to get, and I needed someone to bring them to me. 
And here you are, replete with their immortal power. A power I require to energize my dark engine and project my armies across the veil to live side. As it was in the beginning, is now, and forever shall be. It isn't over yet. Oh, I think it is, Michael. Well and truly over. We spoke the word to Pike, Batrachian, Cruz and the others so that they might open the way. We whispered sweet nothings into Nettie's ear as she lay sleeping, and she sent you to us, like the proverbial lamb to the slaughter man. The power is within you, Shadow Man. The power to unleash the apocalypse upon your pissant little world. The throne awaits you, Michael Lois. You are the fuel for a great engine, as it was in the beginning, is now, and forever shall be. Amen to th Alas, it would appear that I am done for. You didn't reckon on the fact that the Dark Souls I now possess would give me even greater power. Power enough to take you down. You might think that. But unfortunately, and once again, you are woefully mistaken. What the... Now you will die! This was the one flaw in your plan, Legion. The Dark Souls have given me the power to defeat you. I've read my prophecy. And Legion shall take the Dark Souls unto him. Well, here they are. <laughs> Immortal, fool, warrior, 
as a god, I stamp upon the writhing face of the dead side serpent. Weapon in my hand, my hand, the arcing death blow, the horror, the horror, I embrace it.